Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today is an extra special day because I get to introduce you to my friend Margaret, who I've talked about a number of times in different videos. Um, and today we're gonna talk about how she pees and how she showed me the technique that I've used for, oh my God, so many years. And that's really transformed my life. Like it changed my life completely. But the neat thing is, is that she's a quadriplegic. So all of the comments that I've gotten so far uh, that you can't do this because you don't have hand function or you can't do this because you're a quadriplegic, we're here to debunk that because Margaret is the one that showed me and she's a quadriplegic. So my biggest questions for a quadriplegic uh, when she does intermittent catheterization is how in the heck do you find the hole with quad paws? That's the biggest question. Um, what do you cath into? Um, and yeah, just basically how do you do all the stuff with quad paws? That's probably not a very politically correct term, but it's I what like my it. friends use. I like it. I'm using it only because it's what my friends use. You Do you want to do a little bit of an introduction about like yeah. how long you've been paralyzed? Sure. Yeah. All that stuff. And a fun little tidbit, we're in a park today. Yeah. So not only are you getting educated, but so are children, families, yeah. and anybody who walks by. We are absolutely uh, surrounded by a whole bunch of people. So <laughs> they get okay. to learn about it's all good. paralysis. So I've been injured, um, not almost, I kept on saying almost, over 30 years now. Uh, I was injured when I was 16 and I had a gymnastics accident. So my injury is incomplete in that I have return of sensation, um, but not a lot of function. Um, yeah, and so I probably didn't learn how to cap on my own for 10 years. I was always needing to find a bed to get onto to transfer to. That's what I did for four years. Yeah, to, on a bed to get her done, or like a lot of help from another person to uh, like pull my pants down, pull them back up. If I was at school, I had to come out with lunch, like, and I pissed myself all the time. Yeah. So it just wasn't workable after a while. Um, and actually, through racing, through wheelchair racing, is how I met people that. Uh, found a way to cast in their chair and pants and it was a gal that went to an S&M fashion show Oh my god, and the zippers in the crotch was what she was like I'm gonna adapt that because all of the zippers I'd ever seen go this way back and forth and, and me too the zippers that I've ever only ever seen in uh, like to ad adapt something to catheterize they've always been along the, the vertical seam like they I think guess. it's gonna no, they think because okay. it follows the lines your anatomy does that for some reason that's going to work. Yeah. And really, it doesn't because once you get that zipper open, you're never getting it back up. So my zippers in my pants go this way. So they from go one along side the, of the inner thigh, the horizontal seam. That's what yeah, I'm calling yeah. it. The vertical seam and the horizontal seam. Yeah. Uh, so it, it goes opposite to where the good Lord split you. Yeah. We officially scared the people away that were sitting Did just, they move? yes, they, they left. They were like, this is not a child appropriate conversation. Actually, you know what I find funny about that? I think it is. Yeah, personally. absolutely. I know. So, well, yeah. you scared them away. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, Parks guy, he's going to stick around because he's getting paid. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but yeah, so then where do you want to go from there? Um, really, I just want you to show the exact technique about, yeah. like, if you were to pee, do a mock-up pee. I we're not going to pee in public, but we're going to do a <laughs> mock-up. For you no guys. One, no one will have any idea what's going on. Yeah, um, exactly. And so I'm actually just gonna come around this side and perch. You might need to move it. Yeah, I'll move I'll move the camera. Okay, we are going to I'm going to go vlog style. Woo! Vlog style and just pick you guys up. Alright, so pretend this is either a couch, a running board on your car, or if you're really lucky, a toilet. A toilet, yeah, exactly. Um, and so I typically have a foot with a shoe on it, but if I don't, my foot is actually stickier, so it sticks just perfect. Oh, um, see, I, my feet, it's the opposite. My legs will have a heyday if I don't have a shoe on. Well, it depends if it's a slip, the slippery bottom of the oh, shoe. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I get my foot up, and I sort of, I post in between my legs to give myself good, as good leverage as I can, and also... Do you go kind of sideways like that? What do you mean? Like, I go straight front oh, on. Oh, I'll show you. Oh, I okay. just don't have quite enough... Um, function to go straight out. Oh, okay. So I also do this because I can brace my my locked out arm on my ribs and with my triceps not being as strong as I would like, it keeps them locked out. So I get as far forward with one boom, cheek, and then I get a hand do you lock underneath the my other, I, the brakes are locked, yeah. Oh. Get my other. Your brakes don't look locked to me. Uh, it rocks because it's D's locks. Oh, D locks. Okay. Yeah. I'm so like, they don't even look like they're on. Pretty sure we got shadows going on, but this is pretty much what she looks like. Yeah, it's shadows. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. 
And Did I you have put one leg up? I just put one leg up. Oh, one leg yeah. up. I put two legs up. Yeah, no, I get one going. When I used to have traditional brakes, I used to wear anything with a, a sling back so I could hang my foot on the brake. But yeah, I, I have most mobility in this particular leg. The other one I've had heterotopic ossification in. Oh, okay. So it's just, I don't have quite the same range. Maybe I would do things differently, but that just isn't the way it worked out for me. And then uh, I, I have always got a backpack and I sort of put it on the front of me. Oh, that is uh, brilliant because I always am digging in the back of my backpack. And yeah. And Typical just water bottle. I literally have a pop bottle. <gasps> What is and that thing that's around it though? I will show you. It oh. is a water bottle holder. It's a silicone thing. I got this at Disneyland. A water bottle holder. Yeah, and you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at like camping and hiking stores. I got the last one that's going to replace this one uh, on the ferry, the Vancouver Island Ferry. Okay. Um, so yeah, easy to take off and put on a new fresh bottle. Um, I tend to not switch out, and this may sound gross, but just listen. I tend to not switch out my bottle all that often because I can really smell whether or not I've got a serious bacteria culture going on. If it's clean, it keeps washing out essentially. Yeah. So it never smells bad if it's if things are clean. Oh, that's interesting because I don't ever I do it into a urinal and I change it like twice a year, which is Oh, that's not for all. Yeah, so that's that's like me too. I don't change it that much and I but every once I don't in a while even, clean it. I don't rinse it that often either. Oh, really? No, hardly ever. I rinse mine every time, but... So, okay, lube, lube, and I actually stick that between my rim and my tire. So yeah, stick that guy there. Oh, like in between the... In between the rim, the rim. and the wheel. Oh, that's... And then brilliant. as a quad, to keep this as clean as possible, okay. I... Um, I only open the first couple of inches. Only opens the first couple of inches, okay. And I perch this baby in here until I'm ready for it like I get everything that I can set before I wash my hands oh that's smart yeah and so I've got baby wipes these are the ones I'm using right now because they're the ones that I can get all the time they're honest company they oh, yeah. are they have almost nothing in them teeny eeny eeny bit of um, like a, a fruit base to be a bit of a, a surfactant or a soap where do you get the giant packs of that for those of you watching um, that's the uh, Jessica Elba yep. uh, company that she started uh, with all of the natural and chemical free uh, products. Yeah, and it's Amazon. You can get it in Walmart too. We give huge packages on Amazon for a really good price. You can figure out how many you use and get a subscription. Really? So that you get so many every two months, every month, every three months. So I do that. I normally actually prefer wet ones with nothing in them yeah. just because I like that they are a little thinner. Because of my tactile ability, I don't have great sensation. So I get my, my three wipes. I do one for hands, okay. uh, one on the, which we'll go into the rest of it in a, a few minutes. Yeah. One on the labia, calf, and then one again at the end. Um, yeah, and sometimes not even at the end. I don't so, do it at the end very often. Yeah, so yeah, so then basically you want to know how do I find the hole? How do you find the hole? That's the biggest question. Okay, so small anatomy lesson. Uh, all vulva havers, for the most part, have got Two, like two sets of labia, the outer labia which have hair and the inner labia which have no hair. And then at the top of that is the crowning glory, the clitoris. And so if you, you can start from one end or the other. You can start close to the clitoris and move down and the urethra is the first hole down, um, which is kind of what I tend to do. Um, but I have also, if I can't find it, I will also uh, go from the bottom up. And if you feel where your vagina is, which is just a hole, not the whole area. You start there and go go up with the catheter and you should be able to, to find your, uh, the meatus. And it kind of hooks in. It like does. I go, I go sideways because I'm, I'm pretty, pretty confident at where uh, it is sort of in between. Yeah. It's just I have to go sideways until it gives a little hook. Yeah. And I know I'm in. And then uh, once I'm ready to go, I take the catheter out. So there's about two or three inches left inside the packaging I squirt some lube on it oh and then lube you like up. run it through yep okay um, and then I always keep the packaging to put the dirty catheter in because it's for me with quad paws it's much easier to finish up with a fairly intact packaging tie a knot in it oh tie a knot that's brilliant because it creates a heavy spot so you make the, the garbage yeah so specifically so, yeah. with your hands 
Yes. Do you spread your labia with your uh, knuckle? I, so I spread with my left, oops, sorry. Or, sorry, I start with my thumb. Thumb. Um, anything that I can use, I basically just get like a, a finger in there, yeah. and, and then, then I catch it, it and pull a little further, okay. and then I hold it aside with whatever, any hand strength I have, yeah. and it's enough room to get her in there. Okay. If I'm wearing underwear. Any time that you can go commando, it's Boy, better easy. for your urethra, it's better for your vulva, it's better for your skin. Um, I understand there are times of the month when you can't, and some people have more natural fluid than others. So you do you, but whenever you can, do it. It's good for your body. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, you've never had irritation from the zippers? <laughs> I started out by using like uh, metal zippers. And that was a big problem. But yeah. no, I don't tend to have uh, irritation from zippers at all. Um, so with that, I just want to take a look at how you hang that around. So oh, for you sure. take the, and then you just use a really long catheter. Is that a male catheter? Yes, oh, I have so. never been able to use a female catheter because I just cannot get close enough yeah. to the toilet bowl. Um, Do you put so. the end of the, the male catheter in the hole of the bottle I'm first? I'm sorry, I sure do. Okay. Let me mock this up one more time. Yeah. All right, so let's pretend this is all lubed up. And what I do is I take the reservoir end and place it into the bottle, and yeah. in I go. And you can see that I, I oh, hold yeah, it so in my knuckles. Too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So not every quad has the same kind of grip, but uh, my other friend, she holds hers in, she has a much flatter hand, and she holds it kind of in like that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Definitely then, doable though. Absolutely, and there's a way around it, and you can get holders, you can get all kinds of stuff okay, to, so to work for you. Another big question, how frustrating was it when you first learned to do this? Uh, quite. Yeah, me it too. Was, it was a lot of work, a lot of misses, and um, and sometimes a lot of misses when I really needed to not miss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the freedom and independence it has given me, so I would say, Independent cathing and a car are probably the two biggest independence builders for me I can think of because I can get I can almost uh, get help from almost anyone anywhere else if I need it for dressing and all those things which I can do um, but those are the things that brought me freedom it meant I could stay at home by myself it meant I could go on a road trip uh, you know next week I'm driving out to Vancouver Island by myself and spending a night in a hotel and um, yeah this makes all the difference in the world that's our video guys thank you so much for watching and thank you to Margaret if you do have any questions leave them in the comments and I will be sure to pass them on to Margaret um, I'll probably just get her to watch the comments for a while so she can respond to you guys uh, because I know many of you quadriplegics or people with less hand dexterity you're gonna have questions about no but it's different for me and or you know you just want some sort of uh, support or you know feedback from somebody that's actually quadriplegic so and if anybody wants to do an individual video chat afterwards I'm willing to do that I'm not right. willing to describe a lot of stuff by text because I really don't know who you are yeah uh, unless unless you're verified yeah contact. yeah exactly so I, I definitely can even pass on would you be willing to get like if I pass on your email to people that were totally okay yeah. so that's yeah I'll pass on her email um, and yeah go from there so definitely if you have any questions uh, or comments leave them below. Um, but that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on another video. Bye. See you guys.